We'll guide you through how to add scrolling credits to CapCut PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go to the top left of CapCut and go and click on text. Then what you want to do is make sure add text is selected. And then what we can do is go and click on this default text and go and drag it in just like so. And what I like to do is put it right at the end. And as soon as the video ends, the text is then here. Now go and select the text and head up to the top right click on text and basic. And then what we can do is go and customize the text. So for example, you could type in credits and then you can start typing in who you want to credit. And what you can also do as well is go and change the font. So let's say I want to go and use the Poppins font. I can click there, it will go and download and it will then be used. And what you can do is change the size of the text as well. Just make sure you select it all by pressing control A and then you can go and adjust the size as well. But what you want to do is come down to position and size. And then what you want to do is go and move the playback cursor to the start of the text like I have there. And with it selected in your timeline, then come to the preview screen and click and drag. And you should then be able to go and move them. So I want them to go and start just here like so. And once you've made that first position, you then need to come over to the right and you need to go to position and size and go and click on the add keyframe button. As you can see, a little diamond will appear there as well. And then what you need to do is go right to the end of the credits and now go and choose where you want them to go and end. So in this case, I'm gonna go and drag it up like so. You can use this sort of like magnetic line in the middle, this sticky line to go and keep it centered. And that's it. Now, when we go and play it back, as you can see, they then go up like that. And if you want it to be even slower, then what you can do is go and make the text longer. So you just come down to your timeline and you can click and drag like so. Let's say I want it all this time. And then you can just go and click on the keyframe here and move that right to the end as well. And now when we go and play it back, the text is now a lot longer. 